Hi kids, it's Bunny with another junk journal. How exciting. And this one I call Magic Garden. It's all about fairies and flowers and all that good stuff. And it is a hardback. And I got this pretty cloth at a um, flea market sale at a church a couple of weeks ago. That was very pretty. And there's a child in the garden with a fairy looking on. And this little silk sash holds it all together. Got some lace on the front also. Inside, let's get all adjusted here. I should probably pull out a little hair. Okay. Inside we see a lace pocket with some journaling cards. And journaling cards are all blank on the back so you can journal on them, of course. And there's a tag. All tags are blank on the back so you can journal on them. And here's an itsy bitsy teeny weeny envelope and inside of it is a um, vintage foreign stamp. And it's very cute. And um, this is a little message for the owner about the journal on uh, how they can use it if they're not familiar with junk journals. Beautiful fairy. And I have lace on the edges of some of the pages. Um, a lot of the pages are coffee dyed. And here is a pocket that I made from a used tea bag. That's a lot of fun. More <coughs> journaling cards, excuse me. And a uh, tag. And we've got um, this pretty pink piece of paper. Uh, here's a page out of a vintage Creole cookbook and here's some coffee dyed um, doily, square doily and it's got little fairy wings on the edge of it and that's made into a pocket. Inside is a page from um, Edith Holden, uh, Edith Holden book with your beautiful illustrations on it. And here is uh, some vellum with pretty flowers on it. And in this pocket are more journaling cards. And this is a label um, from a vintage, it's a vintage label from uh, like a box of seeds. It's not actually a seed envelope, but it's vintage label from something that held the actual seed envelopes. Here's some handmade paper. Um, here is a little tuck with a uh, vintage photograph of some very happy looking ladies. 1932 is the date on that. And here's some vintage sheet music, Lay My Head Beneath a Rose. And I've got little uh, clusters here and there. Lots of little details. Uh, ruffle uh, fabric. And this is a vintage vintage uh, instruction sheet of paper from something and I made it into a pocket with a journaling card in it. And here is some more handmade paper. This has uh, pretty flowers in it. And it's the other half of the uh, vintage paper. Here's more journaling cards. Kissy kissy. And a tag, and this is uh, vintage ephemera. This is dated 
1940 and it's uh, some sort of receipt for sweaters and there's more of the vintage sheet music and little flips with things underneath them more handmade paper here's some more um, vellum pretty hydrangea on it uh, there's another pocket, a doily pocket with a um, journaling card in it. And there are some more journaling cards. Pretty little fairies and a tag and a small envelope. Let's see what's in this one. I think, I think it's more vintage foreign stamps yeah a couple of them very interesting designs to look at and in this signature we have more journaling cards magical fairies and a tag <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Here's more Edith Holden and more uh, vintage sheet music. And this little bag is a vintage photograph of a sweet little girl. She's probably out hunting for fairies in her mother's garden. There is a side pocket, and in it is a little notebook. It's like a miniature um, junk journal, uh, but it's got lots of places, pages for you to write on, and it's totally portable. A vintage book page. Um, this is a uh, faux wallpaper. It's not not real wallpaper <laughs> more doily with more fairy wings and here's another tea bag pocket or tuck with a <clears throat> a journaling card and a tag and a vintage uh, page from a a and p uh, and page a and P stamp booklet with some stamps on it. Wonder what you can get with those. More vintage papers and book pages. Everything's vintage. There's another envelope, and in it, um. It has a little teeny tiny journaling card. Very pretty. And here is another piece of vintage ephemera from a hardware store. And it's dated 1911. That's real ephemera, not, not a reproduction. And this page has a little... Uh, flip on it. More pink paper. There's another page with another flip on it. I didn't make mean to make them so close, but somehow I did. And in this little bag is a very pretty lady all dressed up, looking like a fairy herself. More Edith Holden. Here's another journaling card and a tag and another one of those uh, vintage seed labels and here are some vintage tickets handmade pay paper more uh, journaling cards and a teeny tiny another teeny tiny envelope and it probably has postage in it and this is a vintage letter from 1946 um, from a guy to his sweetheart. 
You'll want to read that. Here's some more vellum. Pretty bird on it. More sheet music. Here's some more fabric. Ruffle. This is a vintage postcard. Um, 1907 is the post date on it. I don't know why it says ha ha. Must be an inside joke. Here's some purple paper. And some more of that handmade paper with the um, um, flowers in it. And here's a little side pocket. This is um, from a, uh, a pretty sorry ribbon from India. Just because it's pretty, not because it's particularly old or anything. Here's some vintage, uh, more vintage book page. Um, let's see. Here's some more. Pretty journaling cards and a tag. And more sheet, vintage sheet music. More vellum. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another square doily. I love that card. It's a fairy with a bubble. And here is a vintage uh, playing card. And another tag. More pretty, pretty journaling cards. And here's a vintage, um, <coughs> excuse me, a vintage, uh, sort of a ticket, uh, yeah, a bus ticket. Vintage, of course. More vintage Creole cookbook, handmade paper, um, <clears throat> Edith Holden. Another pretty journaling card. There's uh, one uh, advertising fairy cream. It's a reproduction. And another small envelope. This one has a little journaling card in it. There's a page from a children's book talking about a playhouse they're going to build. And here there's a pretty cabinet photo of some children. Very formal setting. I'm going quickly because I don't want to run out of time. And also my back hurts leaning over this. Here is another uh, side pocket with another small notebook for you to write in. In this bag is another vintage photograph of a baby buggy waiting to be visited by the fairies. And there's also a little journaling card in there. Here is Vintage Ephemera, People's Gas Company, um, 1923, and a Vintage uh, Sales Tack Vendor Stub. And I think we're almost done with some more pretty journaling cards. And another tag. And then we come to the back and we have several uh, journaling cards in that lace pocket. Uh, 
Um, very pretty, handmade by Bunny. And that is the Magic Garden. <clears throat> and I hope you'll visit my shop and learn more about it. Thanks again. Bye-bye.